Vanilla Lime, Hawaiian Breed, Garden Retreat. How many of us have fragrances like these in our home? What if we told you that using these products could increase your risk of developing breast cancer? Would you still want your home to smell like Hawaiian Breeze? Hi, I'm Marie Stegner, Consumer Health Advocate for May Brigade. We want to raise awareness about everyday exposures that increase our risk of developing breast cancer. Whether you realize it or not, toxic chemicals are in your home right now. In your laundry detergent, your cleaning supplies, your air fresheners, and even in the air you breathe. To help us learn more, we're talking to Leslie Reichert. Leslie is author of The Joy of Green Cleaning and a nationally recognized expert on green cleaning. So Leslie, what is it about the chemicals in cleaning products that make it so dangerous for women? Inside of cleaning products, there's this group of chemicals called phthalates. And what they call them is endocrine disruptors, but really what that means is they just, they short out cells, so cells can't talk to each other. And when that happens, they end up making more hormones than they should, less hormones than they should, and they actually get all messed up. What happens then at that point is then that's when a cancer cell can be created, and it can cause some serious damage in your body. Do you think exposure to phthalates could increase a woman's risk of getting breast cancer? There has to be more studies, but there have been two that have been done by an institute called the Silent Spring Institute. And what they found was that there was a definite relation between the amount of cleaning a woman did and the breast cancer that was coming out of the surveys. So the more you cleaned, the higher your chances for breast cancer. What can we do to protect ourselves and our families from phthalates? Well first, don't get scared. There are things you could do. One of the things is find out more information about what you're using in your home. It's a little bit of work, but you can actually go out and research what's in the cleaners. Also, you can just go to a greener product, make your own. And really the thing is just going back to nature and finding out that there's simple things you can use that can make a big difference in your life. Thanks so much, Leslie. I'll definitely be sharing this information with my family and friends. We've learned a lot today about the impact cleaning products have on our health. As women, we shouldn't be risking our health every time we clean. Not when there are safe alternatives. For more information and to share this video with your family and friends, visit maybrigade.com.